The first one is, do not buy that coat. That coat, don't buy it. That particular coat you're being tempted to buy, please do not buy it. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel and I am from Lagos, Nigeria. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the things I wish someone told me while I was preparing for my trip to the United States. So if you're preparing to come to the United States, I have a list of things that you might want to come with or a list of things that you might not want to come with. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below. Share with your friends. Let us dive into it. The first one is, do not buy that coat. That coat, don't buy it. That particular coat you're being tempted to buy, please do not buy. Sometimes those jackets might not be convenient for the weather they have in America. Yes, it feels thick. Yes, it looks brand new. Yes, it looks so good. Especially if you buy it like um, second grade or second hand. Do not buy that coat. Because if you come into a cold place, I promise you, that coat cannot do anything for you, most especially during the winter season. What do I prefer you do? I prefer you come here with the money and then you can buy the coat that is suitable for whatever weather or whatever state you might find yourself. I made the mistake of buying that coat. I bought a lot of coats coming from Nigeria. But when I got here, oh no, those coats, I couldn't use any of them. Or those jackets, like they say, I couldn't use any of them here because they were too light for the weather they have here. I couldn't wear them during winter season because it was extremely cold and those jackets couldn't hold nothing. They couldn't even um, survive during the fall for me because I was in an extremely cold state. If you're gonna be in an extremely cold state, please, please, please do not buy that jacket. Bring the money with you to America and buy that jacket from America. It's easier, or will I say cheaper, to get those jackets from America. Number two, buy all the African food that you can afford and that you can carry. But do not buy beans and gari. Those stuffs are heavy and you're gonna take all the weight or all the pounds or all the kg that you need in your bag. Yes, you can buy the egusi and I would advise that you have it blended or you, you grind it, you know what I mean? You grind it before bringing it or before traveling with it. Yes, you can buy the seed and blend it here with water or whatever or whatever way you would prefer. But buy all the African food that you want, all the things you would need for soup, if that's your thing. Of course, that's my thing. So I brought a lot of food stuff with me, even though on my way here, I lost some stuff in transit, but I had enough that, would, that lasted me for like eight months into one year before I started buying stuff here. Getting foodstuffs here is easy if you're in some states. Like I've always said, some states have um, more African store than some states. And you get little quantity for a lot of money than what you would get in Nigeria. So I, I would advise you that you buy all your African food stuff from Nigeria, if that's your thing. Please, please, please do not buy beans and do not buy gari because those stuffs are heavy and they're just going to take over all the weight or the pounds that you will likely be needing for more important stuff until number three avoid long layovers if you have the opportunity to avoid long layovers where you have to stay in the airport um to book your connecting flight your connecting flight if you have the opportunity I would advise that you get a layover that is just an hour or two hours. Coming from Nigeria to the United States, it's already a lot of work. You have a lot of bags. If you have kids, um, the stress, you're tired, you just want to lay down or you just want to um, eat, take a shower and sleep, you know. But if you have long layovers, you have to wait for that long hours. If you have four hours, if you have six hours long um, layovers, that's a lot of time to sit in the airport and wait. I promise you, you would be so cranky. And um, if you don't know how to eat their stuff, you'd be hungry. So uh, you you would have, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? You would have been so tired and dirty and you would need a shower. And the airport, I don't think I, I saw any bathrooms in the airport, but they have restrooms. And then you sit in a chair 
that is not really comfortable for you unless if you have all the money to get like the vip sections and all of that or whatnot but if you can afford it i would advise that you avoid long layovers avoid long layovers make your your layover as short as possible so you can get to the united states as fast as you okay. can four take an empty water bottle with you an empty water bottle with you you hear the way i said it so that you can understand what i'm saying or so that you can know what i'm talking about at the airport there are water fountains they're like taps where you can drink from but we all know what's going on around in the world because okay. that stuff that's happening you might not be able to um get put your mouth to drink from the water fountain but if you have a water bottle you can always get water or you can go to the um restaurants that you find in the um airport and ask them if you can if they can give you water some people are so nice and they would give you water to drink of course if you have your water bottle but if you don't have a water bottle you might also be able to ask them to give you water if you're very very thirsty if all the water fountains of the airports are closed um you can ask the restaurant people to give you water i wish someone told me that but when i came into the united states i could drink from the water fountain but i just didn't know that it was safe to drink coming from a place where i drank like bottled water or pure water seeing people drinking water directly from a tap was strange to me i didn't feel comfortable drinking water from there so i had to go to a restaurant and i got water i didn't buy i was given it was given to me free of charge i didn't pay for the water it was given to me in a cup so you can go to the restaurant and ask them nicely please can i get a cup of water and some would give you some restaurant might ask you to pay some restaurant in the um, um airport might ask you to pay but i don't think you have to pay for water at all on to number five weigh your bag before leaving your house i cannot say this enough people Wear your bags. Remember, I don't know how many kg you're entitled to, but if you get two bags, you are entitled to um, have 50 pounds. One bag, 50 pounds, the other bag, 50 pounds. I think it's between 21 to 23 kgs. I don't know. But if you can, if you can um, wear your bag at home, if it's 21 kg, make your bag 20.5. Wear your bags before leaving. And um, get a tag like a name tag because when you're traveling so many people would have the same bag with you some people will have their bags wrapped and some people would have their bags unwrapped but if you have a tag in on your bag if you have a tag on your bag and you see your bag you can easily identify your bag coming down the cursor so please wear your bag and tag your bag i cannot emphasize this enough tag your bag i um, wear your bags. I didn't wear my bag when I was leaving my, my um, house in Nigeria till I got to the airport. And I discovered that the stops I took <laughs> way more than the recommended um, um, weight that I was supposed to travel with. I had to start dropping stops at the airport. And I, that all made me almost miss my flight. So I cannot recommend this enough, people. Wear your bags, please. On to number six. Do not leave your bags unattended. Um, you know how you ask somebody, please, can you help me watch my bag? No, don't do that. Um, I just want to use the restroom. Take your bag with you to the restroom. Um, most especially if you are, if you, um, if you have, um, what's the word? If you're already in the United States. Do not leave your bag unattended, people. Please, do not leave your bag unattended. Be with your bag at all times. Be with your bag at all times. If you're going to the restroom, take your bags with you. If you're going to the restaurant, take your bags with you. If you're sitting down, make sure your bag is with you so that you can always have an eye on your bag. Do not leave your bag unattended. If you leave your bags unattended, um, sometimes, if you're not lucky, your bags might be taken away and you might not be able to get your bags back so please do not leave your bags unattended i'll just go through the list of the things that i have one to six and so that i can remind us of what i just said number one the first one that i said was do not buy that jacket 
do not buy that jacket i promise you you will not need it when you come to the united states so don't buy that jacket at all don't buy that jacket don't make the same mistake that i made i bought that jacket thinking that i would need it but it didn't work for me uh, it didn't protect me from the cold uh, it wasn't thick enough for me it wasn't thick enough for the wind it wasn't thick enough for the snow so don't buy that jacket number two buy african food stuff if you can afford to buy african food stuff please buy african food stuff from nigeria do not buy beans do not buy gari you can get those stuffs here from the african stores here even though um the gari here might not be what we have back home but you can make do with that but every other stuff you need don't bring yams please but any other stuff you might need you can buy um from nigeria before you get into the united states number three avoid long layovers if you can if you cannot that that's also okay but if you can avoid long layovers long layover will make you feel tired cranky and upset and it makes the journey looks very very far or very very long number four wear your bag before leaving your house wear your bag at home and wear your bag at you also have to wear your bag at the airport of course but wear your bag at home wear your bag at home so you know the exact weight if this if the weight is supposed to be um 23 kg i would advise you wear your bag at home to be like 22 kg also tag your bags have your name have a piece of cloth um something to make you remember or to identify your bag or to make you know that that bag coming down the carousel is my bag so that you can know i didn't do this and i had issues identifying my bag number six do not leave your bag unattended. Be with your bag at all times. I cannot say this enough. Be with your bag at all times. Do not ask anybody to watch your bag for you and do not watch anybody's bag. Be with your bag, watch your own bag at all times. So thank you so much, guys. I hope and I, I hope you found this um, point that I just listed out useful and helpful. If you did, Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video and bye. I hope um, this point that I listed out would help you on your journey to the United States. It can also work for people who are traveling outside of Nigeria to Canada, Australia, or whatever country you'll be going to. These things can help you. Remember um, that um, we do not know it all. Ask questions when you get to... Um, um like your your way you have to wait or catch the next fight ask people questions we do not know it all and you might you'll meet a nice person who would tell you where your next train is but if you have any topic you want me to talk about list them out and i'll talk about them just leave a comment about that um in the comment section below. please let me know if you like this video if you do leave a comment below like subscribe and share this video